Hello everyone welcome to back my channel I hope everyone is having a wonderful day before starting the video please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Will Meller has provided an explanation for the unexpected partnership between Adam Barlow and Harvey Gaskell on Coronation Street. N.A. tale that begins tonight, January 1st. Harvey's half-brother Damon Hay returns to Weatherfield in an attempt to win back Sarah Barlow and the drug lord and the lawyer. Unexpectedly call off their war, Harvey accepts to work with Adam in order to exact the retribution that both of them have been craving for months since he still has feelings for Damon. Will Meller stated the following regarding the unexpected alliance prior to this storyline. He can tell that Adam is in a desperate situation, which is ideal for Harvey to find a partner in. Harvey will find it easy to persuade him to do what he wants if he is in a desperate situation since he will act on his behalf. Harvey has no problem letting go of his sibling if it's necessary. In his opinion, it doesn't matter if he becomes collateral damage because his brother beat him up and poses a threat. Everyone is following Harvey's lead, and they are all singing from the same hymn sheet, Meller remarked. He'll push Adam to the limit and force him to do things with which he is uncomfortable. Harvey doesn't seem to trust anyone, and I don't think he really trusts Adam either. However, he will play these games while he is incarcerated, it seems to be a way for him to pass the time, if nothing else, he finds entertainment in manipulating people's lives since he is a puppeteer extraordinaire. However, if there is a possibility that he could escape by someone like Adam acting suspiciously, he will take advantage of it, Adam thinks he can use his legal expertise to outsmart Harvey in the beginning of the issue, but it's possible he's in much over his head. Harvey is, street smart and he knows how to work people out, Will stated. There is a fear element associated with Harvey, and the problem is that he doesn't hold anything back. He will stick to his word and complete the task at hand. He is incredibly streetwise and intellectual, as well as socially intelligent, yes, Adam needs to be concerned. Without strength and cunning, one cannot reach the heights of Adam's game. Even though I am aware that he is incarcerated, he never seems to be content and is constantly considering how to escape. With Harvey serving a life sentence in jail, it seemed doubtful that Will would get to portray the part again, so he expressed his gratitude by saying he was really glad to be back. It's something that straight away when they asked me to play this part, I knew what I wanted to do with it, he said. I wanted to play him as a real nasty guy because I don't get to play baddies very often, so if I'm ever going to be on Coronation Street, I'm delighted I'm playing one. Despite the fact that he is a villain, I like portraying him. The actor continued, saying, I like playing that aspect of him because it presents a challenge to me. He's arguably the most villainous character I've ever played, and I don't get to play many characters like that. When they asked me to return, I immediately said yes because I knew what I wanted to do with him. Naturally, I was concerned that the plot would hold the public's interest because, despite Harvey's villainous nature, the audience has always responded favorably to him. I was happy to return because, although he is terrible, people like to detest bad guys, and he also has a certain charisma. It's intriguing to me that he has some scores to settle. Despite Harvey's many bad deeds, there is something appealing about him that drew Will in especially. My goal has always been to portray him as an actual person, I don't want to be a cartoon villain that makes you say, he's not that bad. Harvey is completely corrupted, he declared. I found it intriguing that Sam got under Harvey's skin in those sequences we performed with him the last time questioning why he killed his mother and why he did what he did. Everyone, good or bad, has a backstory. There's a reason you are who you are, and there's a reason Harvey is the way he is," Will continued. I thought it was fascinating how all of it came out in his scenes with Sam. Harvey was somewhat broken by it as it was the first time you had seen another side of him, therefore wanted to ensure that every time I portray him, it is authentic and true to life. These kinds of people actually exist, they are genuinely self-serving and don't care who they harm in the process as long as they achieve their goals. Even while Harvey seems okay to you, there's always something else on the back of his mind. Harvey may say whatever he wants, but the wheels never stop churning. You never know whether a character is on board, on side, agreeable, or something else for the audience or the others in the situations. 
Whenever possible, I aim to keep the audience guessing alongside him. I really enjoy playing it since Harvey's always trying to push his own agenda. Will found it particularly interesting that the soap opera would be revisiting Harvey's complex connection with his half-brother Damon upon his return in the new year. There's an interesting dynamic between them. My mum told me that Damon had me beaten up and I took it quite personally and said wait till I get my hands on him, so I'm quite glad I get to have that conversation," Will explained, although Damon denies it, Harvey is aware of what has happened and is reassuring him that nothing is ever forgotten. Family members aren't safe either, if you wrong Harvey, he won't forget it and will exact revenge. He'll hurt him in some way, it might not even be his fault, it could be his friends or relatives. The tension that exists between them is what makes it so fascinating. Even though Harvey is inside, he has the ability to control things from his current location, the actor went on, saying, Harvey is extremely dangerous because he has nothing to lose. Harvey realizes he has him when he gets a reaction when he talks about the female he's seeing, even if at first we only see him playing with Damon and attempting to generate a reaction. He knows he's got him when he realizes how much Damon likes Sarah and that she has children that he cares about. Therefore, you need to help me out and I'll let them alone. He is aware that he has Damon, and Harvey enjoys playing puppet master. Will mentioned that one reason Damon might be able to keep one step ahead of his brother is that they both share a deep sorrow over their mother's passing. When Damon's on the back foot he thinks how can I hurt Harvey, what can I say? and we know from that scene with Sam that's mentioning his mom," he stated. Harvey's mother passed away when he was a little boy, he has a picture of her on his prison wall. Harvey destroyed his cell in reflection following his chat with Sam, his vulnerability is that he knows his mother would not be pleased with him, but it's too late and she's not here. He is unable to consider it or show weakness while incarcerated. While you're in here, consider that, Damon tries to send the ball back over the net, but all that will do is push Harvey farther down, his only resource while incarcerated is his thoughts, and he never stops believing that if you're going to hurt, I'll come after you, your friends, your loved ones, and their children. It won't make him happy, but in prison, all that matters is getting even and making sure that others respect you. The characters Harvey encounters with are constantly brought into his environment behind the prison walls, making his return special in that he won't actually be seen on the cobbles, everyone gets to enter my universe, which I adore everything changes, including how I move and speak, as soon as I step onto that set and pretend to be Harvey," he remarked. I enjoy it since everything changes as soon as I put on my clothing and go. When you truly understand a character, such as with Harvey, you can just dive right in. I then sit differently and play with it a little bit like Harvey does when people arrive onto the stage. Will said, when you play him, you can merely use his appearance, his disconcerting movements, or his carefree approach to play with people. He can be one thing at a time and lacks respect for people, which makes him fun to play. I therefore appreciate it when people come onto the stage since it's my territory. You're only as good as the last scene you did, so I always arrive prepared for whatever I'm doing and want it to be the best it can be e. I end that instant, I'm Harvey, and that's the end of it. I want to be completely real and convincing, no matter who I'm portraying. Sam and I get along well and laugh later, but right then, I'm Harvey, and I'll stare you down, cause awkward situations, lean in, and grab you. You have to give it your all at that point in order to bring out the best in yourself. Harvey never smiles till he's got someone where he wants them to be. We'll seem to get along well with co-stars Sam Robertson, as Adam, and Kieran Griffiths, aka Damon despite the difficult relationship that exists between Harvey, Adam, and Damon on screen. I've never had a problem with anyone I've worked with at Corey, they've always been very friendly, it's a lovely environment to be in," he stated. Obviously, I only get to work in my cell now so a lot of my scenes are two-handers and I like that. Acting is all about timing and rhythm, you can experiment with that, which is why I find it so enjoyable. I hope the audience enjoys what we're doing with Harvey, Damon, and Adam. I think we've done some nice stuff and we're building things up. Thanks for watching this video and please subscribe our channel Street Gossip for more update news.